when anyone comes to your place, your house or your town or your village or your country, you have a decision to make, either to welcome them as a stranger or to resist them. The welcoming meets the needs of our very varied group of participants who include refugees, asylum seekers, European migrants, third country nationals, international students and the local indigenous minority ethnic communities. We provide open access, drop-in classes, workshops and activities that are generally always free. We are running a project that is working to improve people's employability and also to help them reduce health inequality as well as assist them in orientating themselves around Edinburgh, integrating them into their local communities and to really sort of function and enjoy their experience living in Edinburgh. I run two groups at the uh, welcoming. One of them's a group for absolute beginners who are learning English. People are very new to the country. And most people have very little English at all. Um, the other group's a well-being group. And that's a more of a conversation group, all different levels of English. And it's really about sort of talking about social issues and discussion, having a bit of fun, meeting people and um, making friends. So it's more of a sort of mental well-being group which has gradually evolved over the past year and a half. Well, I'm a volunteer with the welcoming and I have been for about four years and my main role has been helping with English classes, uh, ESOL, uh, which I really enjoy. I've helped with beginner classes and intermediate. When I joined the welcoming, it was uh, different stuff from now and the welcoming had run out of funding. The project closed for about six, seven months uh, until they, get, uh, they got new funding. I really missed being part of the welcoming. The welcoming is undoubtedly unique because it, people come along bewildered about being in Scotland for the first time, don't know where to turn, don't know what to say, often lonely, often really isolated and also they can actually make friends and it is it's fantastic to see people becoming more confident in the language but it's even better to see them making friends arranging to see one another and actually talking English to each other when they have not done this before. So as well as the more uh, formal aspects of the course, we've uh, engaged with the participants uh, in a social programme, monthly suppers, uh, to poetry readings, storytelling readings, to dances, concerts, outings, theatre shows, and they're invited not just simply to take part, but actually to make a contribution. I was welcomed here and started, you know, joining the events which was happening here. And them knowing that I'm a musician, there were programs of, you know, of music. And I found it was not, I wasn't alone after all. Recently we've had a, a really successful burn supper. We've had a fundraising night for a Colombian project. We're shortly to support a Nicaraguan Haiti project. 
We regularly support Refugee Week and have a range of activities. Well, you, well, you see people come in and they're very shy and tentative and they look lost. And then they'll be coming for a few weeks or a few months and they integrate and, and they gain confidence. Um, they seem to they seem to gain quite a lot from it. And especially if English is a second language, they gain quite a lot from the English classes. And then they can practice it when they're sitting talking to people at once. One of the long-standing successes of the welcoming is the welcoming lunch. It's the, the social hub of the welcoming and it helps us keep in contact with all the users and through its activities and uh, classes we're able to touch base to, to find out what's, what people need, what they, they're looking for. When I came here to Edinburgh, I was looking for some English classes and, and I started to look for them and I've been in different places that they sent me to another places and in the end I came here and really good because it's not just English classes, there are a lot of different things. Then we have a, another programme of, of international cinema which is, allows the migrants to have their own word, to say their own word through the medium of film. Film being the most powerful artistic uh, medium. Last year I was here just uh, to watch movie, but this year I decided to get, in, mm, to get uh, more involved uh, in the activities here. I think this uh, project is very interesting. Uh, for learning English, ma mainly because the course is free and important for integrate in the community of Scotland. The project is for me important, which um, helped me uh, learn English, uh, know other person, other cultures and understand the Scottish culture. There's something special about this uh, organization and I know that uh, the people who rely on the welcoming services, such as the English class, uh, these people were losing out, uh, not just from not being able to attend welcoming English classes, but also uh, not having that interaction with people from different nationalities and feeling, uh, having a feeling of belonging. Uh, some of them felt isolated. Uh, I started coming over here and uh, found out that they were more people from different countries probably facing the same isolation as I've been experiencing. So the question is, who are all the different peoples in Europe? So we run a course called Scotland for Newcomers, which uh, does exactly what it says on the tin. It uh, engages in dialogue with the newcomers, asks them about their own country and their own backgrounds, and then we compare it to Scotland, see how it's similar, see how it's different, and what we need to know more about in order to understand uh, where we find ourselves. I do as well. I go to Scotland for newcomers. That they tell you, they tell you all the history about Scotland and Edinburgh. And it's really good. Robert likes football. Perfect. Lucy doesn't like football. Perfect. Well done. But I've had to get new skills, I've had to totally change the way that I teach in that 
to actually make the lessons accessible to people of all abilities of English. Do you have free elections in Colombia? I've had to learn how to speak slowly because I was speaking far too quickly as well. It's helped me to grow actually. Uh, people don't believe me when I say I, I was quite shy uh, in the past. The thing I was never good at was uh, speaking in front of cameras as I'm doing now or speaking in front of uh, large groups of people. When I get out of it, I, I meet a lot of different people from, from various nationalities and the people are friendly and, and they're really nice people to, and I get to get along with and it gets me out of the house as well. Having migrants in here as part of our programme has been a profoundly enriching experience. The pure essence of the welcoming is around bringing people together, having fun and learning. Learning from each other and enjoying each other's company, experience and being together. I hope uh, for the future that the welcoming continues to be a success and to be funded because there is a demand for what we provide for uh, the people who need the welcoming. Uh, something that people say social capital, now I have some social capital because of people I know here. The most important thing here for me is the people that I have met. We meet their need to be together, we meet their need to meet the local uh, community. We meet their need to feel included and connected. The spirit of the welcoming is to encourage and to foster new ways of working and new ideas. Everybody is incredibly supportive of each other. They knit into a social group. And I think that's the difference between just uh, coming to Scotland and get some, a few English lessons here and there, coming to the welcoming you get in English lessons but you get in everything else as well and you're getting this hub and this access and into all these different levels of support which I just think it's an amazing thing to do and I love I love doing it but uh, it would be a loss if I didn't do it I'd say. I am very happy in the class. <laughs> 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 yeah? <laughs> no.